Today is a very cold day. It is only, I think somewhere around, well it says 18 degrees out, but with the wind chill, we're looking at 7, 10 degrees below zero. Right now the wind's kind of calm, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do on this cold day. Right now, see the wind starting to ground the tracks. But I'm going to show you when we get back to the house what we're going to be doing. Because right now, I'm just waiting for my son to get off the bus. Bus ain't coming yet. We got a couple minutes yet, honey. Uh huh? Yes, we do. What, sweetie? What are you doing, Sadie girl? No, you stay back there. Stay back. No, no. Say it again. Hi, guys. You gonna say how are you? Say goodbye. Oh, I will too. Okay. Bye. Yes, sweetie. Guess what I see coming? Here comes Bro Bro. Yeah, here comes the school bus. Yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, guys, so like I said, it is cold outside. So we are in the basement, and we are going to do an experiment. I ordered um, 75 onions, and I had them delivered early. So it was by choice, and I've got them right here. Mmm, smells so good. And they just came the other day. But I went and I bought a container. And we're going to try and grow them in the basement under the grow lights. Well, these are my grow lights. I use the Walmart LED ones. But the first thing we have to do, and anything, is drill some holes. So, I paid $13 for this container. I paid $13 for 75 onions. So I'm good. So I'm just going to go through and just drill some drainage holes in case we need it. I'm figuring I probably won't, but you always err on the side of caution, right? be 
enough. And the lid that comes with it, I'm putting underneath of it. I don't know if I can, you can see it, but I'm putting the lid underneath it. So if I do have, you know, some overflow, it'll at least go into the plastic lid instead of onto the table. Now, I did at the dollar store, I picked up one of each of their bags of, of dirt. So all purpose, there's some with fertilizer, and I'm just going to mix it. I have to do this because right now that's all I can get. And I'm just going to dump it in. All three bags, and then I'll be mixing it all up. Here's one. This is thicker, heavier than the bottom, which is why I'm going to be mixing it up all real good. And I've got one more bag. aren't even the normal bags I normally buy. This one's not. Feeds up to four months. Professional potting mix with fertilizer. Oh well. Well, we'll, we'll try. All clumpy. Now I know most people would say, oh, you want to make sure there's no bugs. You've got to boil water and dump in it. And I would normally agree. However, this is a lot of dirt. So, I'm going to just mix this up and then bring you on in to the next step. Alright, so, I've got the dirt in here. We've got it all mixed up. I am going to start with the red onions in here. And... We are going to, I'm just going to lay them on the dirt real quick. And I figure I'm going to do three across. And they got to be an inch deep. So, I'm going to take, this is about an inch, make a little hole, stick it in, and plant. Can't really see. done here in a minute so you can actually see. Finger in, onion in, and then just stand it up. Throw a little dirt around. And I'm just going to keep doing that. I'll probably have to bring over one another container that I have over at the greenhouse for these also. And go from there. 
But as you can see, I've got one of my hydroponics containers sitting here. And you know how I said that there are six holes already cut in the lid? On this one that I have over here, I have got eight holes cut in it. So and then this other one that you can't see, it's over here. This has four in it, so I did uh, zucchini in this in last year outside. So. But I'm just going to work on the onions. Alright, so now that we have them, I'm just going to give them a little drinky drink. And I put all 25 red onions in here. I just maneuvered and fit them all. These lights are on my Alexa, so they are set on a timer. So they come on at 5 in the morning and go off at 8 at night right now. So... That's all there is to it. Now we will wait and see. Well, guys, I want to thank you for coming along and watching with me. And I just wanted to give you a quick update. I had that spaghetti squash that was going bad down here. So I just buried it in the dirt and I came down and found this today. So I'm going to give that a quick watering. And then that okra... Let's see, okra down here, we've got some leaves growing and some uh, sweet potatoes. So, still got some growth going on. And this, I'm pretty sure, is just a weed, but I'm going to give this more of a drinky drink. Give them a little bit more of a drinky drink. Give these a little more of a drinky drink. I'm just letting some of the water soak in right now. As you can see... This is completely dry, other than where I put a little water, so. Alright guys, so make sure you stay safe, and keep gardening, keep watching, hit the like, subscribe, and share button, and we'll catch you on the next video. Toodles!